And this is the exercise that we had on the last slide uh, of our last lecture. And it shows a network in which all edges have capacity one, and I show a flow of two. Now, I, I made up this example so that there are no augmenting paths which consist entirely of forward edges. Now, if you did your homework, which I hope you did, you see that this flow is not maximum. It can be increased by one to a flow of three, but when you carry out Ford Fulkerson, you will get an augmenting path, but that augmenting path must have some backward edges in it. In other words, you must rearrange what's shown in order to free up space to fit another unit of flow through this network. All right. Now, when you are working with networks where all edges have capacity one, you don't have to write that on the picture. Just make it a, a sentence over to the side. In this network, all edges have capacity one. So you can just indicate a flow like this. And so this is the original flow in that network with all the numbers removed. The red edges indicate a flow of one from the source to the sink. And the green edges indicate a flow of one from source to the sink. And they kind of clog up the middle. So there's no way to get a third unit of flow through that network without rearranging either the red or the green or both of them. But if you do that, you can. And so here I have three units of flow, one red unit, one blue unit, and one green unit. And they all go from source to sink. And now this is clearly maximum. Because when I'm talking about cuts in a network, there are two trivial cuts. One cut is when you just take the source as one set and everybody else as the remainder. And you can see that in this case, there's only three edges coming out of the source. So you certainly cannot have a flow whose value is more than three. Uh, there are four edges coming into the sink. So I, it's a weaker constraint, but of course, by the same reasoning, there couldn't be a flow in excess of four. So in this case, with the red, blue, and green flow, all of one on those edges, then clearly this is an optimum flow. Now, is it clear to everybody that in the special case where capacities have one, and if I go over to colors, I don't really need numbers. All edges have capacity one, and what's the flow value? The flow value on an edge is one if it has a color, and is zero if it doesn't. All right, now there's no, from this point on, in this subject, there's just computation. We just do Ford Fulkerson, we can do dozens and dozens of problems. You can have a UGA student do them and amuse you with the solutions. 